Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Imona Project. We here at the Imona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice to converts, uh, Noahides, and those returning to Judaism. And uh, it was at the close of Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, that uh, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev came out of the uh, shul, came out of the house of prayer, and said to the people thronging around him, I tell you that today the time of my life is up, and I should be leaving, leaving this world this very hour. But I was disturbed and troubled that I would not be able to fulfill two precious commandments, to dwell in the sukkah, the the, the tabernacle booth uh, for Sukkot and say the blessing over the lulav and the asterisk, the, 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 the citron and the, uh, the palm branches. That's coming up in the next four days. I prayed many times that, I, that my time on this earth be extended to Sukkot, to Sukkot, to the Feast of Tabernacles. And God heard me. And so it was that on the day after Simchas Torah, the day of the rejoicing of the law, uh, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev fell ill. And on the next day, the day after that, when Yontif was over, he died. Uh, they tell that at the very hour that the Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev died, a tzaddik teaching in a distant city suddenly interrupted his, his class, he interrupted his discourse. He was trying to fuse the uh, power of the doctrine with the worship. And he said to those listening, he said to his... Uh, Talmudim, to his students, to his tzaddikim, to, uh, to his disciples, to his chassidim. I can't go on. I can't go on. Something went dark before my eyes. The gates of prayer are closing. Something must have happened to the great worshiper, to Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev. Rabbi Levi Yitzhak was dead, and from that time on, there was no Rav in Berdyshev. The congregation simply could not find anyone to fill the place that he had left empty. We're going to be doing more videos. We're going to be do, doing more uh, Hasidic stories, more lessons in Torah. I hope you find them of some inspiration. I hope you find them of some use. They have been, these tales of the Hasidim have been of great comfort and solace and inspiration and guidance to me. I hope they can be of some use to you. Um, like I say, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you so much.